What's up guys, mainly Hockey Cards here, and today I've got a 28 card PSA submission back at the $18 level from this summer. I submitted 56 total cards through grading with Golden, um, and I have received 28 of them back. I think the other 28 are in QA1. Anyways, first time I've ever submitted with PSA. Um, you know, I was a little bit nervous, but I felt pretty confident with uh, my grading procedures. Uh, I have learned a lot since I uh, submitted my first cards for grading earlier last year. Uh, but let's not hesitate too much. Uh, let's get right into it. Um, I will put the price uh, that I paid for the card as, as well as the grading submission fee. Um, I think the total was about $540 for all 28. Uh, that includes sales tax and such. Um, but yeah. Uh, I think I think it came out to like 1920 uh per grade. Uh but yeah, really good stuff. Uh I can't wait to show you guys this. I'm I'm really excited. Uh so the first is a Dawson Mercer Young Guns PSA 10. Uh I pulled these. I pulled these. This uh this stack that I'm going through, I pulled these. Uh and I just kind of select the best. Uh, all guys with some potential. Taylor Radish, PSA 10. Big one, Cole Sillinger, PSA 10. PSA 9, a little bit loose in the slab. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Oh, you guys can see it moving. Uh, Tamu Solani, canvas. Centering was a little bit off, I'll be honest. Um, figured I might as well just throw it in the submission. Pavel Dorofeyev. PSA 10, Young Guns, uh, underrated. Underrated has a has a great shot, has potential there. Uh, second year canvas, Alexi Lafreniere. Thought this was just a funny little card. I love, 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 love some of Upper Deck's photography. Oh, PSA 10, Philip Tomasino, Young Guns, another underrated player. Kind of a weird market, uh, weird market they plays in in Nashville, so. Expecting big things still, though. Another PSA 9, Lucas Raymond, honor roll rookie. Kind of cool color match. Red wings with the red label. Wish it was a 10. I think I screwed up on the centering a bit. Didn't think the surface had any issues. Um, can't really see anything for corners uh, or edges. Yeah, I think probably just the centering screwed me a little bit. So uh, the last one. It's Jesse Yelonen, PSA 10. So overall, uh, right off the bat, I think we're doing really, really well. Um, and now for the stack of cards I've bought. Ugh, there we go. First being PSA 10 Canvas Young Guns, Liam Foody. These Canvas Young Guns do really well. Canvas cards in general do really well. So if you're looking for 10s, Canvas is probably the way to go. Surface is almost an auto 10 every time. Foodie's still got some potential. Morgan Geeky. Pretty sure he's still part of the Seattle Kraken organization. Not sure what happens here, but, you know, another PSA 10. Would you look at it again? Alexander Alexiev. Canvas Young Guns, PSA 10. Another guy, I don't know what's going to happen with him, but figured I'd pick one up anyways. Pick one up like I knew it was a 10. No, I just wanted it to be a 10, and I got it. So, <clears throat> Jared McCann, PSA 10 Young Guns. I think I picked up this card for like, I think under $2. I think it was $1.12. Um, one of the Kraken's best players. He's actually had a pretty crazy career, uh, given his age. Victor Soderstrom, Canvas Young Guns, still very high on Victor Soderstrom for the Coyotes, just terrible market. This one, beautiful little Panini insert. I never really know, uh, never really knew it existed until recently. Nice little canvas, uh, yeah, Stamkos Canvas Creations, PSA 10. Like really clean card. I know that typically they're not worth much, but. Just a really beautiful card. Really like that card. And obviously Hall of Fame player. Uh, these next ones. 
Kel McCarr, Rookie Portraits, PSA 10. These go for a decent little chunk of change. Uh, I paid 81 cents for each of these. Yes, there are multiple. 81 cents each uh, a while ago. Uh, I think I bought eight of them, and I figured five actually had great centering um, and looked really clean. So I decided to send them all in and see what happens. So that's one PSA 10. That is two PSA 10s. That is <laughs> three PSA 10s. Might be owning the market a little bit. This Oh, four PSA 10 Macars. Yep. Can't complain about that. Lastly, another PSA 10 Macar. Uh... So yeah, that's that's pretty good. Um, you know, I think those go for at least a hundred bucks each. I think there was one low sale at about seventy-five. It did go up to three hundred after the cup one, if I'm not mistaken. It's all over the place, uh, but can't go wrong. Uh, Dylan Cousins Young Guns, another PSA ten. I I literally did not see anything wrong with this card. Um, one of the, I'd say one of the bigger cards in the submission, if you can say that. Another guy I'm really high on, Arthur Kaliev, PSA 10. Uh, kind of a low pop for this guy. Um, yeah, this was really clean. I almost made the mistake of sending a third one in, uh, but there was actually just a huge scratch across the front. Um, but I did get to send the second one in, that also 10. Uh, so, I mean, as you guys can see, this is, this is pretty mental, actually. Um, I think I'm going to make my money back. Uh, Four or five fold. Um, OPG Ricky, Lafreniere. Expecting a big season from him. He looked really good in the playoffs. Got to see him play live in Carolina game one. Of course, the Rangers lost that. That kind of stunk, but had a great time nonetheless. Always happy to pick up PSA 10 OPG rookies of top rookies. So I have two of them. I think they're pretty easy to grade. I think uh, this year, Volpici, um, the borders, uh, typically pretty scratch-free. Centering's pretty good usually. So overall, if you're looking for something to grade, I kind of do recommend these OPG rookies. Adam Boakfist, Canvas Young Guns, PSA 10, yep. Uh, also another player I'm excited about. I'm excited about the future of Columbus. Um, I think their defense is pretty ridiculous, or ridiculously talented offensively. And they've got great forwards, too. Great developing young forwards. Johnson, Sillinger, um, Gaudreau, Line A, Jenner. Yeah, I mean, they've got a good team coming up. Everybody's least favorite player, Anthony D'Angelo Young Guns. His stock went up uh, after this season. You know, he had a great season down in Carolina. Um, I hate the Philadelphia Flyers, but I am, you know, interested to see what he does um, because he's going to be a big part of their success if they have any at all. Um, sorry, sorry, Flyers fans. Uh, lastly, this card. Um, I did not think was going to do that well. I I thought out of the all of the cards in my submission, this had to be the lowest grade. Um, I was thinking like a seven or an eight. Um, Car McDavid, Authentic Moments of 99, PSA 9. Um, really just a gorgeous, gorgeous card. Um, it has some surface issues. Um, but commemorating his uh, first NHL hat trick. Nice young picture there. Um, I think this is a big money card down the line. So, yeah, very happy to grab this. Very happy. Um, but, yeah. Uh, yeah, 28 cards and I believe 25 gems. So, uh, I think I did pretty well. Uh, what do you guys think? Uh, hopefully, hopefully the next 28 are just as good as this. Uh, I do know I've got at least one eight in there because I did send in a PMG or two, but 
overall, really happy with this. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like and consider subscribing. It's free and you can always change your mind later. Thanks, everyone.